Hello and welcome back. Continuing on from our latest video, we're going to talk about the quick menu. So the quick menu is something you can access by pressing the right button on your modifier wheel. You can place it on whatever side you want. And you can also just scroll right to left or left to right. And you can add these custom menus. To do that, we're going to go up here on the top right corner onto our customize menu. And on the top, if we click on quick menu, now we're customizing those quick menus that we've seen before. So similarly to the custom bar, you can go over to any palette and then sub palette and then click and hold or long press and drag it over to your custom menu. And you can see it's trying to snap to specific sections of the custom menu. So if I let go over here, now I have the slime bridge button on my custom menu number two. So I'm going to delete that. If I hold this and drag it over to this little trash can icon, I can let go. And similarly to the custom bar, you can also long press, drag it over. And then with my other finger, I can just tap whatever I want, adding to that selection. Maybe I want, I don't know. So the save and open button for fiber mesh. I don't know, go to sub tools. I want the visibility sets. And then I come over here, I have 10 buttons that I let go and here it is. And obviously I can still tap and hold and reorganize this on my custom menu. And now if I click done and I click my right button on the modifier wheel, I have access to that custom menu over here. So to customize your canvas, you have to go on the top right corner and click the settings tab. In the user settings, you have two little sub menus that interest you. We have the Y sub menu and the canvas sub menu. And in the canvas sub menu, you can change the color of your background to any color you wish, including picking from a grid, a spectrum or some sliders. So you can control the RGB of your color. And then besides that, you can come over here and control like a range. So you have like a gradient and then change the center of that gradient and then the rate of that gradient or the fall off of that gradient. So you can even invert this and there you go. If you want to reset whatever you had, you click reset background and then just pick the color that you had before. In the UI sub menu, you have the ability to change the size of your modifier wheel or your widget and also the icons. So you can change the modifier wheels icons to either action icons, the key icons, or the key labels. And off cam view, which is this little thumbnail over here on the top right that tells you your orientation on the mesh. If you turn it off, now you see it's no longer there. You can turn on and off the thumbnail on the top left corner of your canvas. And this is this little thing over here that shows you your silhouette. And that pretty much covers customizing the quick menu and editing the canvas on ZBrush for iPad. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.